Hi everybody, I'm Annette from Annette's Makes and Bakes and today I'm going to show you how to make these really gorgeous, um, super easy chocolate fudge brownies. Okay, so chocolate fudge brownies should be um, really soft and gooey inside and have the nice little crispy top and when you break them you've got that. It's almost like a meringue top and then you've got lots and lots of chocolate inside. Okay, so um, to start off with, you need to put your oven on to um, 150 degrees, which is gas mark three. Um, so you cook them low and slow. Okay, so you don't need too much heat. Um, the ingredients you're going to need are 200 grams of butter. Now, in most recipes, you'll find that they say real butter but butter is hugely expensive at the moment um, and you don't really need to use butter so for today i'll show you how and um, i made the ones yesterday with this as well um, this is really cheap you can get it in any supermarket i got this from asda um, so you can use essentially what is margarine you don't have to use butter so you need 200 grams of that 200 grams of sugar. Now this is normal granulated sugar. A lot of recipes you'll see online will say you need to use soft brown sugar or, or light brown sugar. You don't. Um, you don't even have to use caster sugar. You can use normal um, granulated sugar, which keeps the price down as well for you. Um, you will need four medium eggs or three large ones. I've got four medium sized eggs in here. Um, you have 100 grams of plain flour and 50 grams of cocoa, which I've got in the bowl together, which we'll put together in a moment. And um, you can do 100 grams of chocolate chips. You can buy just the bag like this, chocolate chips from Asda. It's only about, I don't know, 50 something pence. Or you can use... Um, half white and a half dark chocolate chips if you want, so have a bag of each. You are going to need 200 grams of dark chocolate and you need that in a big bowl. Now the dark chocolate I'm using for this doesn't have to be anything special. This is 30p from Asda. Okay, so all helps keep the cost down. You're also going to need um, a spatula and you are going to need either a hand whisk like this or I'm going to use my stand mixer behind me but you do need to use one of these if you try and use a normal little whisk like this um, it's going to take you ages because you have to whip the um, eggs and sugar together and pretty much double them in size and make them really light and fluffy and that's what gives you that crusty top on top of your um, uh, brownies. Okay, but I'm going to use my stand mixer today, so I will use, and I'll put this away because I don't need that. And lastly, you need a baking tray. This is about 22 centimeters by 14 centimeters. Um, if you haven't got a baking tray like this, get some tin foil, make a shape of a tray, um, and then fill it with. Uh, line it with greaseproof paper okay so you don't have to have a baking tray or you don't have to have one that's if, if you've got a really big one just make yourself a tin foil tray and then um, line it with greaseproof paper okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i've got to melt the chocolate and the butter okay because you need that to cool slightly um, online recipes will say use this over a bain marie which is hot water um, hot water in a saucepan and then you melt the chocolate and the butter you don't have to do all that just put your butter into your bowl and then pop it in the microwave okay so what you want to do is heat the butter till it's completely melted and then use the hot melted butter to finish melting the chocolate that way you don't overheat the chocolate 
and um, it cools down an awful lot quicker. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on. Um, whilst that's doing, because I can multitask, your sugar and your eggs both go into your mixer. And this is the one bit that is really important. Your egg and sugar mix needs to be really light and fluffy, um, so it's almost double in size. If you're using the hand mixer, it's going to take you about eight, nine, maybe ten minutes to do it with a hand mixer, and you really have to persevere. I'm going to cheat and use mine, it takes a lot less time. Um, and if you've got a sand mixer at home, then that's great. So we'll pop that on in a second. I'm just going to take the chocolate and butter mix out. So you can see it's starting to melt. Just give it a bit of a stir. Now I'm going to put it back in again for about another 30 seconds just to make sure that all the butter in there is melted. Okay, so all the butter is melted and it's quite hot. So what you need to do is just stir that until it's all melted. So I'll leave that for a second. Let the chocolate melt a bit more. And I'm going to put my stand mixer on so this is going to be pretty loud now, okay? Okay, so whilst my mixer is flying away, um, just keep stirring the butter and chocolate mixture until all of the chocolate is melted. in here if you can see that is a mixture of eggs and sugar that is really light and fluffy okay so if you feel the bottom of your bowl just make sure that it is fairly cool okay maybe a little bit warm but that's fine um, but you don't want it to be hot if it's hot, you need to let it stand for a little bit longer. Just move the chocolate around until it's um, cooled down a bit. Or you can even put it, stand it in a bowl of cold water just to bring the temperature down a little. Um, but you don't want it hot. Okay? Because otherwise it will start cooking the eggs before you've managed to fold them in. So in this bowl, I'm going to put my egg and sugar mix. Make sure you get it all in there. There we go. 
Okay. Now online recipes will also say to you that you need to fold that into the chocolate mix before you add the um, cocoa and flour. Now, um, if you want to, you can use a sieve. I'm going to just it helps mix the two together, but you don't have to. Um, you could literally just pop it in. But the other thing that this does is help add a little bit more air into your mixture. And also, see those little lumps at the bottom? Get rid of those. Okay, so that's that. But you don't, if you haven't got a sieve, don't worry, just pop it in and you'll be able to mix through any little bits of lumps anyway. Um, and then pop in there your chocolate chips as well. Okay, now this bit is really important you need to fold in all of this you don't want to mix it because what you need to do is keep as much air in here as you can just take your time do like a figure of eight mixing so scrape around the side of the bowl and just go through the middle scrape around the side of the bowl and just go through the middle and just keep doing that until you've mixed all of it together nicely. Oh, look at that. That is just gorgeous. And all you can smell is this amazing chocolate smell. Okay, so that's all mixed in really well. And at that point, you then pour it into your tray um as i made normal chocolate brownies yesterday um today i thought i would make something a little bit different so um i'm going to make these ones chocolate orange and i bought a pack of matchmakers from asda they're a pound. Um, if you don't find them in Asda for a pound, you can find them in Poundland, certainly, for a pound. And all I'm going to do is break these up into little bits. So literally just break them up into small pieces and pop them into your mix. Smells so nice. Smells really good. Um, you can, if you want, add in some orange extract, um, but you don't need to. Uh, I prefer to leave it like this with just the chocolate orange from the matchmakers because they have a very, very strong flavour. And then you get this lovely crunch from the matchmakers. You get the dark little bits from the dark chocolate buttons that you've put in and then the gorgeous fudgy chocolate brownie mix itself what's not to like okay so and just carefully fold in those all right so you don't have to add in these um, but you can if you like. You could flavour the chocolate mix with whatever you like. You could have mint if you wanted. But that's it. And whilst it's baking, some of the chocolate orange pieces will melt a little bit. Um, but you will end up with gorgeous bits of orange chocolate crunch in there and then we'll just pop it into here oh my goodness okay so it really is that easy that hasn't taken me very long at all
just make sure I get every bit in there as much as I can. And then you pop it into the oven for about 15 minutes. Just give it a little check. Let's just shift it that around so it's going into all of the edges. Okay. I always have a cloth handy to wipe my hands on. Okay, so pop that into the oven for 15 minutes. Um, take it out and check it. You, you'll probably find that the middle isn't quite cooked at 15 minutes, um, but just turn it around, put it back in for another five minutes, but you don't want to over bake it. Okay, so um, I can tell when something's baked by the smell um, because I've been doing this for so long, but um, it's with fudge brownies if you put a cocktail stick in or a skewer in it's going to come out with um, uh, chocolate cake mix attached to it what you want is for it to come out with it um, to be really sticky if it comes out and it's runny then put it back in again for another few minutes um, but just touch the middle the very middle of the top and if you don't feel any real give there then you know that it's cooked, okay? All right, so that's it for the moment, and we'll come back when they're cooked. Okay, so I'm back again, and these are cooked. Um, it smells amazing, and you can see you've got the lovely crusty top. I've let it cool a little bit. It's still warm and underneath, but... Um, You've got this lovely crusty top, and let me take them out. Okay, needed them to cool a bit so I could actually lift it out of the tray. And now I'm going to um, cut it so you can actually see. So it's like a look at that gorgeous crunch. Still lovely and soft and gooey inside. It'll go less gooey as it cools. Um, grab a bit of kitchen towel. Okay, so I don't want them too huge slices. That smells so good. And there you can see you've got a gorgeous soft squidgy bit inside and then when you break them you've got that amazing bit on top oh god they smell amazing and oh my goodness <laughs> sorry that is just so good um they won't last five minutes all right, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching my video. Please have a go at doing it. If you do, send me a comment or a message to let me know how you've got on. Um, and enjoy. Okay, thanks. Bye.